This is the Daily Pulse. I'm Travis Zimmerman from Speak My Word Ministries. The episode today is Help Me in My Unbelief. It's basically a lesson we did in our men's group and packed with, with information, packed with, with great takeaways, but I want to focus specifically on this man's cry. Help me in my unbelief. I go to the scriptures here in Mark chapter 9, verses 14 to 29. And simply this, the healing of a boy with an evil spirit. When they came to the other disciples, they saw a lar- large crowd around them and the teachers of the law arguing with them. As soon as all the people saw Jesus, they were overwhelmed with wonder and ran to greet him. What are you arguing with them about? Jesus asked. A man in the crowd answered, Teacher, I brought you my son who was possessed by a spirit that has robbed him of speech. Whenever it seizes him, it throws him to the ground. He foams at the mouth, gnashes his teeth, and becomes rigid. I asked your disciples to drive out the spirit, but they could not. And Jesus, oh, unbelieving generation, Jesus replied, how long shall I stay with you? How long shall I put up with you? Bring the boy to me. So they brought him. When the spirit saw Jesus, it immediately threw the boy into a convulsion. He fell to the ground and rolled around, foaming at the mouth. Jesus asked the boy's father, How long has he been like this? From childhood, he answered. It has often thrown him into fire or water to kill him. But if you can do anything, take pity on us and help us. If you can, said Jesus, Everything is possible for him who believes. Immediately the boy's father exclaimed, I do believe. Help me overcome my unbelief. When Jesus saw that a crowd was running to the scene, he rebuked the evil spirit. You deaf and mute spirit, he said, I command you, come out of him and never enter him again. The spirit shrieked, convulsed him violently and came out. The boy looked so much like a corpse that many said, he's dead. But Jesus took him by the hand and lifted him to his feet, and he stood up. After Jesus had gone indoors, his disciples asked him privately, why couldn't we drive him out? Jesus replied, this kind can come out only by prayer. Wow. The healing of a boy with an evil spirit, Mark chapter 9, verses 14 to 29. And in that man's weakness, in that man's humanity, can you just feel it yourself? Like we, we want to believe in Jesus and we do, and we want to believe that he can do amazing things and he does. But he, this man went straight to Jesus and immediately he replied, I do believe, help me overcome my unbelief. And isn't that like in our own lives and we, you know, we, we see this mountain in front of us, we see this chasm before us, we see these circumstances piling up against us. And yet we, you know, you know, we want to believe that, that, that God's going to take us through that, you know, the Red Sea proverbially and that we're going to be able to have manna or food in the desert you know, of our own lives. But Jesus is saying, you trust me, trust me to take you through this. And that, and that, my friends and my brothers and sisters in Christ, is a chance to walk with Jesus every day. No matter what our eyes see, we cannot go by our feelings. Trusting him to guide us through those, those impossibilities in our own lives, because to God it's not an impossibility. It's a walk of faith every day with the Savior, trusting that he will guide us through that and take us through and over, help us overcome our unbelief. Jesus, thank you in your name. Amen.